Well, good evening and hello, everybody. We're just finishing getting a couple things set up uh, behind the scenes. That's why I don't have the camera on quite yet. Um, so we'd be live about 6 o'clock. Started the stream just a little bit early. Just want to make sure everything's coming through. Let me know how the audio sounds on your end. If we need to make any tweaks and whatnot, we will do so, that's for sure. Holy hell, my mic sounds loud. Um, let me know if I need to turn that down for you guys. So I see we've got uh, a number of people in here. Let me go to the chat. Let's see, Sean says audio sounds fine on his end. Let's see, Jesse says, hey, how you doing? Jefferson Sa says hello as well. All right. Um, like I say, let me know if we need to make changes as far as uh, volume between either the game or myself or vice versa. We need to go ahead. Now Mike is low. Mike is low. Why is Mike low? Mike should not be low. I didn't change anything. Uh, and actually, my mic is all the way up, so I don't know what would have happened there besides my mic just kind of changed position. Bear with me for a second, guys. Let's see if that's any better. Let's do this. 
Hi there, how you doing? Um, so yes, we are playing some Metal Storm tonight. No game audio. I was hearing it, hang on. I'm hearing game audio without any issue, are you sure? Hey Caleb, how you doing? So I am hearing my audio and I'm hearing game audio. So let me know if you guys are still not hearing game audio. Game audio is low. I can turn that up. Let me go here. Bump it up to there. Let's see if that's any better. Edgar, how you doing, my friend? So did I see it properly that the Vikings won today? What the hell is with that? Both sound fine to Caleb. Mike is fine. Oh, yes, Metal Storm. So, yeah, I have, uh, if you guys saw the unboxing recently on the channel, we have uh, gone ahead and done the unboxing. Uh, and I haven't had a chance to actually play it, so we did some recording earlier today. And uh, I want to take a break for a little bit before I get to editing, so figured let's start some Metal Storm here. Uh, if you guys and gals have any questions um, in the chat, feel free to let me know. This is one of the best games ever to come out for the NES. Um, one of the cool things about it is the fact that, you know, a lot of times you have... Oh, crap. One hit deaths. Um, you have games that came out late in the life cycle of the NES that are expensive just because there weren't many of them out there. Um, Metal Storm is expensive because it's not only was one of the later games for the system, uh, but it's actually just a great game, even though I'm not playing it very well. Um, it also reminded me a lot of, like, Macross. I am not playing this well. Game over, just like that. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try that one again. Um, it also kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, the Ed 209 from uh, Robocop, just as far as the design of the, the M308 and everything. Oh, got him! This is also one of those games, too. It reminds me of their parts of Mario... Uh, not Galaxy, what am I thinking of? Or, no, it was Mario Galaxy that had him. Sean with the $1 donation. Go ahead, Sean. Uh, throw in the chat what Super Chat reward you would like from 1 to 11. And we will go ahead and get that rockin' and rollin'. Whoa, just about bit the farm there on that one. This is one of those games, too, that you really need to change how you think. Mega Dan, how you doing? Uh, I missed the statement about Todd Phillips' Joker. I didn't see anything, John. Let me... Pause it real quick. See, make sure that I've got it on live chat. Okay. Uh, I think you misjudged the Arthur Fleck Joker film, Gary, because it's a great character study of how somebody becomes the Joker just like Batman Begins was about Bruce Wayne becoming Batman. But it didn't take 95% of the movie to get to Batman. Um, that's, that's my biggest issue with the Joker is it should have been called... Arthur, a Joker story. Not sure what number, but I choose the Sonic one. Uh, so we will go ahead and get you the Sonic Super Chat. Hello, Sonic. I changed my ways, and to celebrate, drink this punch. Wait! Drink it, or I'll revert your movie design back to the original. You fool! You should have known that this punch is spiked! <laughs> uh, it's the police snooping as usual. Dr. Ivo Robotnik, you're under arrest for corrupting a minor. How have I done that?! That blue creature is only 15 to 16 years old. You shouldn't be giving them alcohol. No, no, spiked is wordplay for- You have the right to remain silent, Doctor.
Joshua did such a great job on that. Um, let's see. Uh, John, what if it was called Joker Begins instead? I think that would be a step in the right direction. Um, I think that the, the emphasis should have been more on the Arthur character as far as the title versus the Joker character. As it is, I really think... So, Nate, how you doing? Um, I really think that... Um, you know, it's it's not a Joker movie. It's Arthur, King of the Britons. That, that, there we go. That's, so this is how, you know, one of the things about this game is just the play with gravity. Damn it. Why is that TV so blurry? It's pixel art, Nate. Pixel art. Actually, the TV, the game itself should be pretty sharp. I'm actually using the uh, the M Classic or the M Cable, I mean, to connect to my capture device. Nate, have you beaten this guy yet? You know, we're just going to go past him. That could have been bad. That was bad. Damn it! Clearly, I am not solid Nate when it comes to gameplay. Um, you know, too, I had actually muted the my microphone during the Joshua stuff. Okay. Good, I did not pull an anti-tracker, so the... Microphone is not still muted. Generally, uh, let's see, it made me become a Joker fan, though. Just like Wonder Woman 2017 made me become a Wonder Woman fan. Um, see, the thing with the Wonder Woman movie is it's Captain America. It really is. Uh, let's see, Edgar, I also did the same thing in my old retro duo and sounds fine now. It seems some NES clones have bad audio. Notice it when I'm playing Super Mario 3. Hmm. Pretty sharp, but a ton of black around the gameplay. Hard to see, never beaten it. Oh, you know what? That's my fault. Give me a second. Uh, that is my fault completely. Not window capture, capture device. Now, if it was just this easy to make other things bigger. There we go with that. And with that, and there we go. Just like that, it's bigger. T-Belly, how you doing? T-Belly last night was doing some streaming with their new, uh, or was it your uh, new TMNT 1UP Arcade cabinet? I have seen that on sale in some stores for as low as 150 bucks. And I think for 150 bucks, it is it's a no-brainer. Even though you can get both of those games available for a hell of a lot less than that, but playing the four-player arcade version is definitely pretty awesome. T Belly with a 499 sticker. Go ahead, pick a number from 1 to 11 to pick your super chat reward. And you know what? I just realized I don't have the super chat reward list in the uh, in the description. So that's my bad on that. Although, there's, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. Number seven. So let us bring up, pause the game. We will go to number seven. Oh, this is a good one. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points 
and may God have mercy on your soul. One of the best ones. Uh, and again, the uh, the Sonic one is number 11, and that was the Anti-Trekker's son, Joshua, actually did that. He does a bunch of great ones for the Anti-Trekker as well. Uh, let's see, except uh, Dino Prince is more likable than Pe Peggy Carter was. Yeah, but the thing is, there's something about Peggy Carter that's just... Mm, 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 mm. That was at T-Bell, or at uh, J-Love's house, so... One of the things that I find is weird about this game is the change from going upside down to right side up is you actually press the opposite direction that you want to go. Got him! Uh, when I play Super Mario Bros. 3 on NES clones, usually the coin sounds incorrect. Absolutely right. Uh, that is something that I have always found, and that's why I use the original Super Mario Bros. on just about everything for... Um, uh, testing out stuff like that. I'm gonna make one. I'm going to... Sorry, guys. I forgot to turn off the monitor on the Super Chat Rewards, which was causing an echo. I will take care of that real quick right now. Now, I am playing on original hardware, too. This is my HDMI modded top loader. Uh, we are using an M Cable uh, Gaming Edition going through our Elgato. There we go. Now, uh, I'm going to just test this out real quick so you guys get a free uh, super chat here. We're going to go with number one. What do you say? All your pay, your pay are belong to us. All your pay, your pay are belong to us. All your pay, your pay are belong to us. You are on the way to destruction. So hopefully that worked fine. I didn't hear. I was hearing it coming out of my laptop speakers, and it was probably causing an echo. Hopefully that uh, get through the delay here real quick. Awesome. You're just fine. Eight bit glitch. How you doing? We've got 16 people watching. I want to say thank you to everyone coming by to check out what's going on here on the channel. I definitely, one of my New Year's resolutions is to stream more. This background is totally trippy. Ah, I was trying to get those things to come, and, well, they came. They got me. Now, I do have the Nintendo Power that featured this uh, that I picked up at the Southeast Game Exchange earlier this, or actually late last year, really. Oh, that's cool that it shoots all the way through the uh, bottom of the screen then, too. I didn't know that. So I can't jump through there, okay. But I can jump through there. That was a close call. This is just the dynamics on here with the oh with the upside down, right side up, just make make it such an amazing game. John Early, Pop Quiz Time. What is the television called that appears in Todd Phillips' Joker film? Surely not a CRT set, is it? Uh, couldn't tell you. All right, got the upgraded weapon, which I needed. Can't kill those things. Uh, for controller, by the way, I am using the Hyperkin wireless controller for the NES. Did they call it the boob tube? Dan Brosman, how you doing? The biggest fan? 
of Michael Burnham is in the house. Edgar, obviously I say this because I really getting into NES Plus, I really miss my NES. Fortunately, I found two of them on my friends. Both need some work. Well, my two NES clones are on my gaming soda. Very cool. If you haven't gotten one yet, um, I cannot recommend the Blinking Light Win highly enough. I have one in my, t in my front loader. Um, absolutely love it. It makes a huge difference, um, and it just works. That background is still tripping me out a little bit. The music on this, though, is, like I say, it's awesome. Alright, got through there. That could have been a lot worse. Nailed the ship. Ah, one hit deaths! What the hell? This is all this is a lot like Holy Diver. Let's see. John Earl, I just know that it's an old-fashioned television set because it has those uh, dials that turn left and right that goes around in a circle. Uh, that's actually a console TV. Uh, we had an old Zenith. Uh, where was it Curtis Mathis? No, ours was Curtis Mathis. That's right. Also, if you guys are looking uh, for a great video to check out on the history of F-Zero, uh, NES Complex just uploaded something, it was either yesterday or the day before, and it is really a great video, highly recommend it. Worked on a bunch of videos today too myself. Did the uh, the 2.4 gigahertz uh, Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz Saturn controller from Retrobit. The Brawler Gen for the Saturn and the Genesis. Got that uh, just the other day and filmed that review tonight. Um, I've actually seen quite a few people with issues with the Nico, Nico, whatever the charge dot or not the charge dot, but the um, case, the, the slim case for the Switch, where they're claiming that it doesn't charge properly inside their Switch, and, uh, or in the dock, damn it, uh, you missed me dying a bunch, Caleb. So, film something on that, showing people how to go ahead and, there, there is a trick to that case to make sure that it fits properly. Um, so that'll be live later this week, too. Dan, or, uh, Mr. Brosman there had a Zenith growing up with a brick remote. Yeah, our family did not have the remotes. Uh, we just had a regular Curtis Mathis TV. Now, if you have not gotten yourself a copy of this yet, uh, I'm clearly not using mine for very much. Um, but make sure you're heading on over to Castlemania Games. Ryan still has both the original or the just the cartridge itself, along with the collector's editions available. Now, also saw that T Belly picked himself up a Virtual Boy. Let's see, Edgar, uh, Metal Storm Supremius, really love the late NES games release. The only problem is some of the late games are expensive. They are. And for some of the late games, they're expensive and they're not really good. Um, that's one of the things that you got to kind of be aware of. Like, for me, I will never have a complete NES collection. I'm okay with that. Um, I just really collect what I, I want to play. Let's see, John, Gary, if you could ever stream on the first or third of the month, I might send you a donation because that's when I get paid. And I like you even though we don't always agree on certain things. See, that's the best thing, John, is the fact that I don't want you to agree with me. 
I want you to disagree so that we can have good conversation and debate. Um, because, frankly, I'm an idiot. Um, Dan will attest to that. Uh, am I going to play a round or two of Use Your Words or Save for Another Stream? Um, I'm probably not tonight. Uh, Ginger is working tonight, and she'll be getting home with the baby here in about 40 minutes. So that's why I figured we would do a little bit of streaming here of Metal Storm tonight. Uh, and then once she gets home, I'll be uh, calling it quits for the night. Oh, this is neat. I like this. Now, you know, John, too, the other thing you can do, you can always just join the Patreon as well. Just a suggestion. Here's the thing, is we are definitely learning with each, each death, which is important. Damn it! What games would I recommend for the 2600? Um, I will admit I am not a huge fan of the Atari 2600. Hang on, I got a cough coming on. Sorry about that. If I'd ever get one again, the game for sure that I would want to get is The Empire Strikes Back. I played that a ton when I was a kid. Absolutely love that game. Ah. Um, Pitfall is a classic, Adventure is a classic, um, I'm just not a huge 2600 fan. Um, Caleb, the one person I would say I would definitely recommend hitting up and asking his opinion on is Metal Jesus. Uh, if you're not following him on Twitter, um, I would recommend it, and he's really responsive to stuff like that, so I would check out, uh, what Metal Jesus Rocks has to say regarding the 2600. Game kind of reminds you of Blaster Master. I can see that. Um, because of the design of the, the, the M308 and everything, I actually kind of get some Transformer vibes. Uh, but that's also because of the fact that um, it kind of reminds me of Jetfire, Skyfire, whichever you want to call them. Let's see. Edgar also last night watched some video of the NES Hidden Gems, and one game is Zexel. Yes, I have that. It is weird, but it's also really good. Oh, okay, so what I was trying to do was get the door to, you know, land on it. Let's see, Epic Glitch just got the M cable. Any suggestions when using it with PS3 or PS4? Um, so PS3, you will run into issues. Um, there is the way that it works with HDCP uh, copy protection. It can cause an issue. So basically what you have to do, um, my honest advice, check out Adam Korlick's video on the M cable. Um, he's got the exact step that you need to do. It's like you have to plug in the M cable, power on the PS3, power it off, or power off the cable, and then power it back on to make it work again. It's, it's something oddball like that. Um, like I say, Adam's covered it in, you know, in pretty thorough detail. You know, I have the copy of Nintendo Power for this. I'm almost half tempted to grab it. Um, I will say so far, harder than Holy Diver. Damn it! Atari Forever says, Caleb, you're too young to appreciate Atari like that. Although, if I could, I, I would kind of like a Jaguar. Uh, my friend Russ had one when we were kids, and um, Tempest 2000 was amazing on it, um, mostly for the soundtrack. The, the gamepad, it's as bad as people remember or claim it is. It's, it's really terrible. So what I have to do is I have to 
that. There we go. Ah! Okay. Don't do that, because you just keep falling. Oh, and I got myself. Uh, John, I paid for the Nintendo Online subscription for your exactly one year. I'm going to get the special controllers as well. Um, you know what? I did not buy the NES controllers. Um, just because I really like the Pro controllers, and some of the third-party ones are really, really good. Um, I cannot say enough good things for the price about that KMD Pro Controller. The thing is amazingly comfortable. Um, it's precise. It just does everything that it should, and it does it well. See, Edgar, and yes, dear, I only get the game that I like because, like you said, I prefer to have a game that I would like to play. Yes! I mean, that's, that's one of the things that I think people get in trouble early on when they are collecting because they're like, oh, i got to get them all. No, you're never going to have them all. Unless you are literally a millionaire, you will never get every single game. And you know what? That's okay. Because, quite honestly, not every game is worth it. Okay, this switch thing is kind of getting annoying now. Got to power up there. Oh, you son of a gun! Oh, I I was alive! Yeah, these backgrounds are super trippy! Where are these ships all coming from? Alright, on to the next... Hey, it's a boss! Damn it! Man, he treated me like a boss. Uh, Epic Glitch starting to realize that. He might downsize his collection. This is only stage 2-2, two, two, guys. This game is brutal! But it's beautiful, too. Um, I will leave it up to the chat. Because I know this is not all that impressive to see me die repeatedly. Um, if you guys want me to do some use your words, I will fire it up after I do the or I die again. Uh, let's see, except I'll probably never get rid of any of my NES stuff or cards that... Yeah, I understand that Atari 5200. Caleb, um, we need to have an intervention for you soon, my friend. Um, because... You talk crazy talk. I would actually really like to see this game on the Master System. Um, with an FM sound chip and everything. Uh, Moxie fan wants to know, John, what color switch light did you get? I wish, too, there was a way that I could easily capture from a arcade one-up machine because I would love to be able to share that stuff with you guys, too. No, 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 no! Let's see, John Early got a slate gray switch. It's a boring color, he knows. So yeah, if you guys want me to switch up and go to a, uh, a round of Use Your Words or Jackbox, I can do that as well.
Now, John, the one thing I have to say that I am a little bit worried about uh, Wonder Woman 84 is that Kristen Wiig is in it, and she's the female Will Ferrell to me. Um, she's not only not funny, she makes anyone else around her less funny. Uh, 8-Bit Glitch has taken off. Take it easy, my friend. Don't know funny watching you die repeatedly. Thanks. It's interesting the way that you can, you know, shoot through um, the floors and everything. Oh, I thought I had jumped soon enough. All right, two down. Dang it! Let's see here, what do we have? Play Batman Arkham Knight. I don't have it. Uh, Mega Dan, what I'm worried about is that you're clothed. Well, what's this game for? This is for the NES. Uh, she was also in The Secret Life of Walter Mid Mitty. Who was? All right, we got two of them. All right, we're getting there. Can I? Nope, will not allow me to shoot that way. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh. Uh, all right, you guys, let me know if you want a round of Use Your Words. Uh, we will get that going here for half an hour or so. Uh, we'll try this one more time while I'm waiting for everybody to respond. What I might do is just shut the stream down for a minute and then uh, change the um, thumbnail and everything. And then get around and use your words. The woman who's the female Will Ferrell. Oh, was she in the Secret Life Walter Mitty? I guess I never realized that. Yeah, Kristen Wiig is just not funny. Um, I and I've never liked her on Saturday Night Live either. Yeah, I was close. I only had one enemy to go. God bless. It. Huh. This game will definitely make you think. Alright, so what I'm hearing is we want to do a round of Use Your Words. So we will do it after this. Uh, give me a couple minutes after I die next. Or not die, but before I continue the next time. All right, let's see here. I want to try to get this boss beaten. That's that's what I want. All right, we got one down. Two down. Three down. Awesome! That's how you do it. Stream Batman for the NES? Uh, someday. Um, I have it. That is actually a game that I have. 
All right, stage two is cleared. So what we're going to do, we're going to shut the stream down for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going to get the switch hooked up, ready to rock and roll for that, and change the thumbnail and everything, and then we will do some use your words. So hang tight for about five minutes. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be back in about five minutes. <laughs> 